Yeah. I've never been here before, and uh, I'm very excited to be here. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having this. This is a great thing. I really enjoy it. And uh, thank you very much to Leia for inviting me out to play with her. Um, so I have two songs that I can offer you that I have prepared for right now. Would you prefer to hear something um, sentimental or funny? Who's the second one? Funny. Yeah, I'm gonna go with funny. Which too. one's for John? I'm sentimental. Can't we do both? How about the <laughs> sentimental? <laughs> do you want me to do them both? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, I'll do the sentimental one first. Okay. Choose both. Um, in 2002, uh, my parents back in Detroit decided to to open a, uh, a music store out of their own pocket because my family's been musicians for five generations and that's our deal, right? So uh, the whole family worked in the store, as family businesses tend to be. My brothers worked there, my cousins worked there, my parents worked there, I worked there. And, uh, and we sold instruments and we taught lessons and I was like 15 and I had no business teaching lessons to anybody. And, uh, but I taught them. And my younger brother who was 12 taught violin lessons. My older brother who was 17 taught piano lessons. None of us had any business teaching anybody. <laughs> but, uh, but we did it and we sold a lot of instruments and it was great. The store lasted about five years. I go for it finally went under. Um, the significant thing about this is that after the store would close every night, close at 8 o'clock every night, and we had keys, which is the greatest thing on the planet <laughs> when you need a place to bring a girl that doesn't have your parents in it. <laughs> but that's not the point. That's the point. Uh, a lot of love happening. But um, what we would actually do, the way it would actually go, I thought this, this is, was going to be the this is, it is the <laughs> So, um, but after the story, this was every, that wasn't every night, but this was every night. We would call up every musician in the neighborhood, every friend of ours, every person that we knew, and the whole family, and everybody, because everybody played music, and we would get them all in the store, and we would use the instruments from the store. Shh, don't give them to my parents, don't tell them we did this, because they don't know. We would take all the instruments from the store, and, uh, and we had these huge sham sessions. It was amazing, and they would last till 3, 4 in the morning every night. And then, you know, you'd go sleep for 45 minutes, and then go to school, and it was, it was how, I don't know how it worked. And uh, nobody knew how to play anything. Nobody knew how, but uh, we all knew how to make music. And uh, it was such a magical experience, and I had to write a song about it, so like 10 years later I did. <laughs> kept all the instruments down in the in the basement. So that's where we had to go to get them.
stone cellar far away To which I will return someday To hear the music once again To see another love begin My life began There were fiddle tunes and crescent moons All in the windows, all in June From Roma blue to Irish green And all the colors in between Under orange lantern light Red whiskey washed away the night Gathered there was the lifeblood of a generation Yeah. Mm -hmm. 